<laughs> well, I thought her picture was gonna well, show up on the screen. Yeah, he turns to me when all the pictures are going. He's like, the num and the number one loudest animal is, and he just says, <laughs> and I was like, shut up. I I thought I was gonna be up there. Yeah, I was telling. Hi, I'm Tanner. Hi, I'm Kara. And, and we're the, the Tribulates. I want to say sorry, we have kind of been absent for a couple weeks, kind of been inconsistent, but that's kind of how summer goes um, around Grace Point. We have a lot of different things that are taking place that are unique to this time of the year. Um, like the youth have been doing a couple fun things, and we just had the children's VBS this last week where we had over 70 kids come through over the course of the week, be able to hear some of the gospel stories and um, stories from the Bible and uh, a lot of people from Grace Point coming out to um, communicate these things to our kids and kids from the community. Um, really great time. Um, but the youth have also done a couple fun things lately. Yeah. One involving food or yes, something. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, all that to say, you know, summer, there's lots of things going on and uh, we'll probably still be a little bit inconsistent as the summer goes on, but um, tune in anytime that we do Trip Talk. Um, but the teens have been doing lots of different things, lots of different activities each week. And to kick off our summer, we had a food fight um, and a messy game themed uh, evening where um, me and Tim Billings opened up 40, 480 cans of cranberry sauce and uh, dumped them into a kiddie pool and we did wrestling in cranberry sauce and um, tons of other messy games. I cooked noodles that we just threw at them, uh, batter that we just threw at them, all sorts of stuff, and then concluded our evening with um, a food fight where I got tons of just different foods and condiments and messy stuff and they just all threw it at each other and then I invited the Albany Fire Department to come by and hose everyone down and they came out and uh, hosed up everyone down and we just had a blast and um, some people got hurt because that's youth ministry and uh, the firefighters actually it was their idea to um, see if they could push one of these big tubes that we used for one of the games, see if they could push it with their fire hose and spin the tube while there were students in the tube. And I got a couple volunteers to uh, be a part of that experiment. And it did spin, but then it turned and the water shot straight through the tube <laughs> and launched my students out nice. of the tube with great force. And it was really awesome to watch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But they did get a little bit hurt. But they thought it was awesome. So we've been just doing just stuff like that, hanging out, hiking. We're going to have camps. NYC is next week. We leave a week from mm -hmm. yesterday. Um, and it's just going to be a great summer. And there's, you know, lots of different things going on. And, um, yeah, so that's what we've been kind of up to lately, just getting prepared for summer things. So. Yeah, so if you need a youth calendar, um, pick one up with Kara. Lots of things going on. Or on um, our website. And always be checking out our website for our summer activities. We have our next summer <laughs> barbecue coming up. Um, is that on the 11th? 10th. Um, the 10th, which is next Wednesday, um, where we'll have a car show and a barbecue here on the church campus. Lots of things uh, going on. But this last Sunday, uh, along with VBS, we kind of had a VBS Sunday where we still had all of our great decorations up and um, invited the kids that attended VBS to be a part of the service um, and Pastor Brent talked a little bit from Jeremiah um, and how God roared to the nation of Israel uh, which kind of went with the theme of VBS um, which was roar um, and so maybe you could tell us a little bit about what that meant throughout the week and this the whole God is good kind of yeah. thing for VBS. So all week long at VBS um we talked about different things and concluded each thing with, but God is good. So we talked about, you know, things are sad, but God is good. And things are, things change, but God is good. And um, things are unfair, but God is, God is good. And then ended the week with, you know, even when things are good, God is still good. Um, and so, yeah, we just talked about the goodness of God. And um, and then Pastor Brent just tied in Roar with, with mm -hmm. God being um, just loud should be like the loudest one that we we hear and that we listen to and yeah. he calls um, his children he roars to his children so that they know that they are his and and um, and that uh, he just he calls on us and, and wants a relationship with us um, and then he also talked about um, 
just how he roars against yeah and uh roars against us at times and not in a you know that kind of sounds bad but mm -hmm. but just in in our poor attitudes he'll roar against our poor attitudes or he'll mm -hmm. roar against our you know messed up perspectives or when we're going the wrong way or we're not following him or whatever he roars against those things that just are not of him and not of his will and um just the reminder that that we need to listen to his roar and yeah. and talk about jesus mm -hmm. um you want to share a little bit yeah about and in one of the gospel accounts when the guards come to capture jesus right before jesus goes to the cross there's actually this this interesting moment where you know they ask for Jesus of Nazareth, and Jesus says, "I am He." And I I had never noticed before. Pastor Brent pointed out how he says, "I am He," and just saying those words, these guards, you know, these seasoned warriors, you know, they not only do they stumble back, but they fall to the ground at the at the words that Jesus says, and just kind of highlights how powerful God is, and how big God is, and how amazing He is. Um, but just like the lion in the animal kingdom that roars one to tell all of his lions in his area his pride um, where he's at um, and so so too god does he roars to remind us that he's there who he is um, but the lion also roars to declare territory that and, and god roars as well and his kerosene it's not a negative thing but there are moments in life where we kind of lose sight of things and we kind of lose the sight of god is bigger than anything that we are going through and god just reminding us you know i'm in charge here and i got you um, you know, this is my pride and I will take care of you. Um, yeah, and what was really cool is that he incorporated um, the kids yeah. and they all listened. And, and what was great is, and you can watch it on the live stream or on YouTube, um, but they had the kids um, sitting at the front and um, Pastor Brent went through just the loudest animals or mammals and um, and then had the kids kind of reenact what those sounds were and everything. Mm -hmm. And it was just fun to see them doing that and, and learning about the loudest animals in the the loudest mammals. Mm -hmm. I was convinced that there would be a picture of Kara up there in the <laughs> list of loudest mammals. Um, in an endearing way, of course. But oh, I'm sure. <laughs> unfortunately, the, she didn't make the top five. But I think she's a close number six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's all from our trip talk today. Thank you for joining us. Um, we'll see you throughout this summer um, in our videos um, and all the events going on. Um, so we look forward to that. Yeah, and we'll see you Sunday morning at either 8.30 or 10.30.